Today is Good Friday. This morning as I came into an empty church to record this video, I had in my head the song, Were You There? And I was singing it out loud in the empty church and hearing my voice echo here. And uh, I'm really missing you all. I'm missing seeing your face and greeting you and sharing God's word in our fellowship and praising the Lord together. But I pray that on this Good Friday that you take a moment to think about the death of Jesus Christ, the, the crucifixion, how Jesus took your sin and my sin on himself as uh, 1 Peter uh, teaches us. So today for our devotional, I'd like to read the crucifixion story from the Gospel of Luke chapter 23. So grab your Bible and follow along with me. Luke 23 verse 32 through 49. Two others who were criminals were led away to be put to death with him. And when they came to the place that is called the skull, there they crucified him. And the criminals, one on his right and one on his left, and Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they cast lots to divide his garments. And the people stood by watching, but the rulers scoffed at him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself if he is a Christ of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who, who were hanged railed at him, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we are receiving the due reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. And he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And he said to him, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. It was now about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour, while the sun's light failed. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, calling out with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And having said this, he breathed his last. Now when the centurion saw what had taken place, he praised God, saying, Certainly this man was innocent. And all the crowds that had assembled for this spectacle, when they saw what had taken place, returned home, beating their breasts. And all his acquaintances and the women who had followed him from Galilee stood at a distance watching these things. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much today for the cross. And uh, Lord, we, we want to be focused on the cross, not just today on Good Friday, but every day uh, of our existence, every Sunday, as we focus on the cross and the empty tomb. But t today especially, on this Good Friday, lift our minds to dwell upon you crucified, Lord Jesus, as we've just heard it in this section of scripture. Thank you for going through that immense physical pain and also the spiritual burden of the sins of the whole world being heaped on you, Jesus. We thank you for that today. Thank you for dying for our sins. We confess our sins. We repent of our sins. And we turn to you who have paid for our sins. And we thank you for that reality, for that truth today. Bless my friends as they watch this today. In Jesus' name. Amen.